Welcome to Real People, Real Voices. I'm your host, James Jackson. I'm your co-host, Dr. Wayne Moore. Always a pleasure to host with you. Always a pleasure to host with you, man. Uh, we got a great show ahead of us, but let's do yeah. our sponsors before we do anything else, because uh, we want people to know that they can connect on the sponsor list as well. Lee Kussel and Crawley, uh, who are with us uh, for a few years now, Furby Care Christian Academy. Academy has been with us from the very beginning. Marion County Public Health Department is, is with us, doing a great job in COVID-19. Owls Modern Clothing and Shoes. Uh, and then Martin uh, University uh, is a sponsor uh, with us, one of the pillars in our community. His Place uh, Eatery, where you can get some good catfish, chicken and waffles, ribs, and all types of soul food. Not only that, you can go to Northside. Windows and gutter cleaning, he'll take care of you. And uh, if you don't know how to get in touch with him, call the station and uh, ask for Curtis Baker. And he'll make sure you get the numbers that you need to contact that particular business. Thank you. Well, certainly we're glad and grateful to God for to yeah. have so many wonderful sponsors. Man, that's a blessing, isn't it? Yes, it is. And we're grateful for all of those of you who have joined us on today. You'll be blessed. We have Miss Katina Washington. Uh, the president of the SHE event in Indianapolis. Yes. A lot yes. of great information she's going to be sharing with us. Please be sure to go to YouTube, WHMB TV 4. You can watch this show when it's over, as well as others that you might have missed. And Dr. Moore, we're certainly glad that people can also find us on <laughs> Facebook, man. We're there. All you got to do is click it, hit it, and go with it. And you can go back to the very first show. You remember that first show? It was Dr. Yeah. Dr. Kane was our first guest. Yeah, she was talking about similar issues that we're going through right now, and so uh, well, we're still well, doing it. How many years have well, we been here? Uh, going on four now, I think. Okay, yeah, that's great. Yeah, thank God. Stay with us. We'll be back after this. Welcome back to Real People, Real Voices, and we're joined by Ms. Katina Washington. Welcome to the program. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, it's a Ms. pleasure she. to have you. Miss She is with us today. <laughs> the She uh, event. Yes, uh, it, I've heard a lot of exciting things about uh, what you all are doing uh, under your leadership and direction. Where did the idea come from? Well, um, the idea was birthed out of a need that I felt to, um, first of all, share my entrepreneurial ideas with my friends and family, and then also to make the Black dollar recycle in our community more than six hours, as statistics says. So I feel like I'd start with my friends. And um, the she initially stood for shoes, hot accessories, and eats, because I teamed with two other people. Um, to create what I call the she event. Um, my niece did shoes. I did hot accessories and my friend was a caterer. So we invited people and about 75 showed up and that was our initial she event. Um, and then, you know, as we move forward, they, um, those two, you know, they're no longer, you know, part of the she event anymore. So a friend of mine in Atlanta said, well, since you've invited other vendors, you know, to be part of it, you could just name it. She has everything. You don't have to change the acronym, <laughs> you know? So that's how that happened. Oh, wow. I, I hear a lot about it. I hear a, a lot of ladies. My wife has attended and uh, a couple of ladies in my church. I know attend the she event. Um, and uh, you get a lot of traffic these days at those events. Yeah. Now. It's, it's come, it's farther along than 75 people. Now, what is your, what, what is your max attendance in, in this particular event now? Well, uh, last year, um, 2019, I had to think about it. <laughs> we reached over 6,000 in attendance when we held it at the Lafayette Square Mall. So mm -hmm. that was the highest number that we've ever had in attendance. And it's continuing to grow. Our, um, we weren't able to have it 
you know, in April, August, and December, like we normally do, you know, because of COVID, but we did have one in September of this year and had over 3,000 in attendance. So it was still good. Well, that's great. That's great. Mm -hmm. uh, so you're planning for 21 already, right? We're planning for 21 already. And in addition to that, we just launched our She Event Marketplace, which is an online platform for businesses to come on board and sell their products and services will be like a little indie zone, a little black Amazon kind of. <laughs> That's a great idea. That is, yeah. You're going to have yeah, some trucks. So we can have everything on there from, I mean, we'll have, and we're still adding vendors because I'm having to do it, you know, a little bit by a little bit, you know, but uh, we're continuing to add vendors onto the website. So um, hopefully as we grow, uh, we'll cover every area, you know, from head to bottom, to the, to your bottom of your feet, you know, <laughs> just with different vendors that offer products and services that we use every day. And, you know, and, I, uh, I, go ahead, Jackson. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Go ahead. And Katina, one of the questions I asked uh, someone is, is there anything for men at the she event? And they said that there was. Tell us about that. Yeah, we, we're having more men to come on board now and even women who offer products to men. So yeah, so we're, we're bringing more men on board. We have um, one of our vendors, uh, Deetra uh, Brown. She offers, I think, men's suits and ties and things like that. And then we have one lady who makes her own, you know, ties and bow ties out, out of different materials and fabrics. And then we also have like skincare for men. We have people that offer that there. We have a few guys that vend as well. Like one guy makes his own electronic business card. And that's for, you know, men and women. So there's a lot of products there that are offered. Um, for me, we're trying to grow that part of it still. You know, we may have to call it we at some point because there's more men coming on board. But uh, we even had a, a couple photographers, you know, that were part of the event. So, you know, it's growing. So you started out with shoes and 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 eat. hot accessories. Yeah, and tell me about the hot accessories. The hot accessories. So those are uh, the accessories that I create, and uh, that you probably had to sit a couple of your ushers down because they hang it down too low. Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but I know I have a few uh, customers that are uh, members of your church. Yes. I make them all by hand, all handcrafted. And actually about over 90% of the vendors who are there, they either have grassroots companies or they create their items and services by hand. That's phenomenal. That's great. That's great. And what are you hoping to see in the next three to five years, the Lord willing, with the SHE event? With the SHE event, um, we want to definitely grow the marketplace. Um, we are working with different um, small businesses within Indianapolis to teach uh, the basics of business. We just finished our first cohort and our graduation was on the 31st. And 10 of the cohort graduates were children from the ages of 14 to 18. Wow. So they actually have launched their business and it's up and going right now. Did you ever think uh, it would grow to this magnitude so far? Not at all, not at all. And I will say that I got very discouraged, especially during this time, because I, I just didn't know what was going to happen. A lot of people depended on me who use the marketplace to sell their products and services and by it being canceled, you know, because of COVID. I, I felt the weight on my shoulders, you know, <laughs> of being the one who provides that to a lot of businesses. We have over 300 businesses that depend on the shoes in. So um, it's, it's gotten very discouraging over the years, you know, being told no over and over again, you know. <laughs> and um, I mean, even today, just to be on this show, y'all don't know, I copied and pasted my own invitation to a lot of platforms and like, hey, would you invite me on there? You know, just let me talk about the she event and never received a response. So, oh. you know, just, yes. Yeah, so just to go from that point to here, it just, it, I feel very blessed. Yeah, to be on Real People, Real Voices is an honor. And then to be honored by the governor. Tell us about that. Yeah, oh, that caught me by surprise. Didn't know that was coming. <laughs> it didn't. That, that was very, I, I mean, I'm very honored to be honored, you know, and uh, recognized by the governor. 
Um, and also the Jefferson Award as well. That was an honor. That's an award that I feel like I uh, accepted for all of us. Cause you know, I couldn't do the she event without everyone that's involved. Keep your impact. Yes, keep up the good work. You're impacting a lot of people and we hope that uh, 2021 will be the year for resuscitating and resurrecting our gathering. And uh, I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna check it out. Hey, I like that. Yeah. I, like, I was gonna ask. I was gonna yeah. ask before we got off here. <laughs> Don't come see ask. about it. <laughs> if, if not, only if you guys will attend because we need, we need, we need you. You know, we need you to have our back in this. Uh, we need your support. You know, even if it's something as simple as you announcing it, you know, doing your service, you know, for people to get involved, you know, and then we, in return, we want to know how we can help you. You know, if you want us to make announcements or put things in our, you know, swag bags or whatever we have at the she event or whichever way that we can help your organization as well, I'm very open to that. All right, we look forward to it. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you for having me. We'll be back after this. Welcome back. I'm your host, James Jackson. I'm your co-host, Pastor Wayne Moore. I'm your executive producer, Faith McKinney. And I'm Curtis Baker of WHMB TV 40, marketing director <laughs> of Real People, Real Voices. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, uh, this is a good time to really and profusely thank all of our sponsors. It is. Uh, we want to thank um, Lee Costle and Crawley for the for supporting us for the last uh, three and a half years. And then Perfect uh, Care Christian Academy, who's been with us the total uh, almost four years, Marion County Health Department, Public Health Department, Isles Modern Clothing and Shoes, Martin University, and His Place Eatery, Northside Window and Gutter Cleaning. Give these companies and businesses an opportunity to serve you at their specific need and your specific need. Absolutely. And certainly I want to thank uh, you, Dr. Moore and Faith and Curtis for all of the work that you all have put in to help make this show as wonderful as it has been. And let's not forget about the fellas in the background, man, working the cameras in the, in the truck and in the, in the uh, audio room, doing whatever they can to make this come uh, to the place to where it is today. We want to thank all those who are doing a great job in the production of this uh, particular show and that's what it's all about and being great we had a rough year but we're still here yeah god bless the work. entire whmb tv family yeah yeah we're here and our audience thank you for sticking out with us and and um you know letting us know what you want to see let us letting us know um you know what helps you and what resources you need and and that's what uh, real people real voices does is works to bring the resources and the people to you. Yeah, that's what it's all about. And, you know, just want to go back and be thankful for all that you guys have done, uh, keeping the show going. And uh, it's been, again, like you said, it's been challenging. You know, who would have thought a year ago that we would be doing this show at all remote locations via Zoom? Who would have who would even knew what Zoom was <laughs> a year ago? You know, this is like a household word now, working from home, working from remote locations, having meetings by Zoom. So this has been a, a challenging year, but it's also been a blessed year yeah. if you put it all together, that we are able to continue uh, moving forward. Yeah. And certainly by the time uh, this, year, this show airs, um, the COVID-19 vaccine, will be circulating to some degree. Uh, that's probably gonna be something that will be talked about as we understand it. Um, there was a promise of uh, in excess of 100 million doses. And uh, certainly we uh, have heard that that uh, has been decreased to maybe about 30 to 50 
uh, million doses or something like that. Um, Dr. Moore, I think that we're probably going to be talking about um, the delay in yeah. the vaccines getting to some of the um, folks who really, really need it um, in, in poor communities. Yeah, uh, I think, Brother Jackson, I, I, not only are you a prophet of prayer, but you're a prophet of COVID-19. <laughs> we talked earlier, uh, probably March, April, we talked about it. Uh, and you said that uh, that very statement you just made about it getting to poorer neighborhoods. Um, and, um, and plus, we have to get people situated to understand uh, in the process of time, uh, the working in, uh, of that virus in the lives of people. But either way it goes, we're going to be prepared to, to do what we have to do uh, to continue to thrive and survive uh, and make it on a daily basis. Um, the numbers are, are so frightening right now, uh, but we still have to go on and do what we have to do. Uh, we are victims of stage five, and uh, we got to maintain the uh, concept of understanding that we can get through this as well. Yeah, we can get through it. And and I'm, again, um, you know, just so grateful for, for you guys. Um, I'm not sure if, if any of you have had any losses due to COVID in your families, but, you know, my heart goes out to those uh, people um, who've lost loved ones due to COVID. And, you know, hopefully, you know, with the vaccine coming, we can all, you know, get to some some sort of normal here soon but it will never be the same. Yeah, and we hope that people can sustain their small businesses, mm -hmm. maintain their jobs. It's just been so crippling for certain communities. Yeah. And uh, it is, it is it's something we have to contend with and uh, have to keep God first. Uh, if he's brought us through that, he can bring us through this. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Well, going forward in the year of 2021, we will be talking to some, to some of our small businesses about COVID and how it's affected. And also um, when the vaccine is available, I'm going to contact uh, Dr. Virginia Kane and have her maybe come on the show and have our two hosts on camera, maybe get vaccinated. What do you think about that on Real People? We will be thinking about that. Most definitely, we will be thinking about that. <laughs> Uh, at this point, that's all we're doing is thinking about that. Yeah. Uh, and I'll join you with that. I will actually be doing that as well. How yeah. about that? Yeah. Yeah. And, and we're hearing a lot about um, leaders, uh, three former presidents um, who have indicated that they may, <clears throat> they may go on television and get the vaccine to try to allay the fears of people of, of getting it. And I tell people, I say, you know, uh, if you're over 50, you probably have that mark, that booster shot um, that we got when we were in school. And I still remember that. And that hurt. Uh, I don't yeah. think it'll be, I don't think it'll be anything <laughs> close to that, but I do no. remember. Um, and, you know, vaccines, uh, we, our children are immunized, but this is new. So we can understand the fears of people and as we understand it, um, there's two doses of this. You, you get one dose, and then you have to come back in a number of days and get the second. Two week, two to three weeks later. Uh, yeah. And, and, and most people are still aware of the 1932 situation that happened in Alabama. And uh, let's not be ignorant to that. And uh, that's what's wrong in some communities and some mindsets. Uh, what happened in Alabama in 1932 with the uh, syphilis research, I believe it was. And uh, a lot of people are scared about it. They, they, well, I don't know if they're scared, they're just apprehensive um, because they don't trust some of the things that our government does and says. And so uh, just got to be frank about it and be upfront with our people about it. And so uh, we'll get there. And the election is another show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe we'll, we'll have to see what happens on January 20th. Yeah, that's why I say it's another show. <laughs> it's another show. Well, thank you for being with us and thank you for a wonderful year to all of our audience, to all of those of you, our WHMB TV 40 family, and you all too. God bless. We'll be back in just a bit with the rundown.
Welcome back to Real People, Real Voices. I'm your host, James Jackson. I'm your co-host, Pastor Wayne Moore. And I'm your executive producer, Faith McKinney. And I'm your marketing director for Real People, Real Voices, Curtis Baker. Yes, Curtis. Let me get our sponsors. Two of those. He's got one in his hand and one on his <laughs> Yeah. Hey, we want to thank Lee Castle and Crawley for being with us. Hopefully, they'll be with us in 2021, Bourbon Care Christian Academy, Marion County Public Health Department. Isles Modern Clothing and Shoes, Martin uh, University, His Place Eatery, Northside Window and Better Cleaning. We look forward to their sponsorship being transitioned from 2020 to 2021. Look forward to being with you on next year. Absolutely, and thank you, Dr. Moore. Um, we are quickly, quickly approaching the end of the year. We're looking forward to what God has for us in 2021, hopefully. By this time next year, we will have returned to some form of normalcy uh, in our nation and around the world. Until then, God bless you and keep well. <laughs>